Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and we are here to do your April 2018 reading. Okay. Now generally my readings are love readings, but we will see whatever comes up for you. Remember this is for the month of April. It's being recorded in March. So what I would ask you to do is watch this in April. Okay, watch it in April because you don't know what's going to happen between now and then. My cats are playing. You might hear some hissing. Patience. Patience. You may be preparing for something at this time. Wow. I guess so. So it appears that maybe you're thinking about uh, making some compromises. You could be thinking about moving. Or you have moved. Ah, oh, you're reluctant. Reluctant to move. Just thinking about it, perhaps. Um, this is refusing to see a new approach. This is refusing to see the new approach. Thinking about your future. Working on the details. So that you can bring stability to your life. This is a new opportunity for stability and security. Ah, need to make a decision though. You, you're in, you need to make a decision. Someone is unable to make a move in regards to what they want. Looking for stability and security. But lacks the strength and the confidence and the courage to move forward. What is this? Are you looking for some new security, some new stability, a new beginning? But you're afraid... You're afraid, so you're deceiving, you're deceiving yourself, seriously, seriously. You are deceiving yourself because you lack the strength and the confidence to move forward. Someone is procrastinating. Procrastinating when they really know what they want. I think what's happening here is that Someone is growing. They're growing. Someone that is watching this is growing, evolving. Okay, evolving. And now, you know, they're looking for something else. Unable to let go. Unable to accept this change for fear of, of criticism. You know, I feel like many of you know what needs to happen, but I don't want to be criticized. I don't want to be judged. I'm going to make sure this is zoomed in. Yeah. What's going on here is that somebody is reluctant to move forward. They're reluctant to move forward because they don't want to be judged. They don't want to be criticized. They lack the mental strength to move forward. Weakness. Someone is weak. That's what this card means, reverse. The opposite of strength is weak. So don't get mad at me. Somebody is turning a blind eye to the truth. Judgment is named truth in many other decks. Turning a blind eye to the truth. 
failing the test because they are scared to struggle through and be criticized. This is for April. This is still going on in April. I think you're still preparing. You've been preparing. I've been preparing. I think you've been getting your shit together, trying to come up with a plan, planning your future, deciding on what you need to compromise, how you're going to communicate, all the while procrastinating. I have to have the perfect plan. And at this time, I'm reluctant to make a change because I'm weak. It's time to be honest and do the right thing. And stand up for yourself. To find the force within you. And be assertive in this situation. Because, you know, there's a lack of happiness here. It's like your dreams are being dashed. Your dreams are being dashed. What's going on here is that you are taking a long, 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 long time to focus and reflect on the plan. Plan, 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 plan. That's what I see. This is planning, planning. I'm planning to. I really want to. I'm planning to. I'm planning on it. I'm planning on it. Is that as far as it goes? Where's the action here? I want to see some action. Where's the action? You can only plan. I mean, you can plan until you're blue in the face. That's self-sabotage. Okay. Many of you have your eyes someplace else, okay? You're thinking about something else. I think you, you are wanting out of a situation. And there's a lack of harmony and there's a lack of balance. And you are being called to be honest. Be honest. Both of these cards are about being honest. And it feels as though you're afraid. You're afraid. You're afraid of... building a new foundation elsewhere. You're afraid of being rejected. You're afraid of not being successful. But you're at a fork in the road. Right? I mean, you are. You're at a fork in the road. Where are you focusing your energy? It's time to make a decision. Do you want to stay where you are at or do you want to move forward? This is the choice that you need to make now, this month. You're being, you're being presented the choice. The world is right in front of you. And you have the world right in front of you. You are being given a new opportunity this month. 
a new opportunity is being handed to you for security and stability. But you have to choose the right path. You have to choose the right path. I see that you're making progress. You're making progress. You are making progress, but you're stalling. You're stalling. And you're stalling because of weakness. These two are mirroring each other. You're stalling because of your weakness. And don't get mad at me. It's time to be strong and stand up for yourself. You're holding on to something that doesn't serve you. You are holding on to something that doesn't serve you. And it's dishonest. It's be, you're being dishonest with yourself. Dishonest hermit. You are being dishonest with yourself. You have to free yourself from this mental conflict. You are living in mental conflict. It's like you're keeping yourself jailed someplace you don't want to be. Because you're, you're insecure. You are insecure. I feel as though it's really time to make a choice and you're very confused. I'm very confused about this choice that I have to make. And I feel one of the reasons that you are staying where you are at is because of financial stability. Be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice, remember? This is, you have to make a choice here. Do you stay or do you go? It's time to make a decision. This is about choices this month. You choose your path. You choose your victory. You choose your success. You choose your own imprisonment. It's your choice. If you want to stay in planning mode forever, then that's where you will stay. If you want to hold on to what doesn't serve you, so be it. Things will be out of balance. Things will be out of whack and you will be unhappy. But you will continue to lose sleep over this until you take action. The Empress reversed. There's no growth here, and you know it. There's no growth. I feel like you may be you may be feeling like you're smothered at this time. You're smothering me. I'm smothered. But you lack the ability to do the right thing. You're deceiving yourself. I think that you have your eyes outside of this situation you want to go in that direction but you're procrastinating unable to make a move unable to make a decision you're holding on to something that is making you feel trapped you're keeping the blindfold on. You're turning a blind eye to what is making you feel trapped because it's stable and secure. stalling. You're sacrificing 
needlessly. That's what this card means, reversed. You are needlessly sacrificing your own happiness. because of fear of judgment. I don't want to be judged. I don't want to be criticized for this situation. And I lack the strength to see this situation clearly. But the fact of the matter is, I believe you do see the situation clearly. I think you lack the strength to move on. So what do I see? What's going on here? What about the future? I feel as though it's, it's time for you to move forward. It's time for you to actually take action. This is the Six of Wands. It's time for you to be victor victorious, don't you think? It is. But I don't see you freeing yourself from that Eight of Swords. I see you still remaining trapped. So let's see. Are they going to free themselves or are they going to stay trapped? Do they have any strength in there to actually make the move? Oh, end of a contract. This is the end of a contract. Victory, success. So you may decide to end it. Congratulations. You may decide to let go of these burdens. But you may not. Some of you may and some of you may not. Don't concentrate on the loss. Don't concentrate on the loss. I feel that you are going to have many regrets and feel quite unhappy about this situation. I mean, you are. You are. But what does procrastination get you anyway? What does it get you? It gets you nowhere. It leaves you depressed. There's no more growth where you're at. Wherever you're at, you're very dissatisfied. This is dissatisfied. It's time to take the practical approach. Be practical with this situation. Find your discipline and go for what you deserve. It's a time of wish fulfillment. Once this contract ends, whatever it is, you will be very, very happy and stable and secure. But, <laughs> this is lack of discipline. You have to find your discipline. You have to find your strength. Okay? You have to. You have to find your direction. You have to you have to find the willpower that allows you to have wish fulfillment. You need to put yourself in the lead. You need to drive the ship. You need to take the lead. You have to take the lead. You have to take action in order for your wishes to be fulfilled and secure and happy. You have to. But I feel as though you, you may not be able to. What the hell is this? 
you may feel like you're a victim. This is a victim mentality. Overly emotional. And I see that too with the Five of Cups under there. You know, I feel like you have a lot of regrets. Guilty. I feel guilty about this. If it isn't meant to be, it isn't meant to be. Don't feel guilty. Don't feel guilty for following your own path. Many of you are reluctant to move on because of a weakness. And don't get mad at me. I'm Virgo rising. So don't get mad at me. That's what the cards say. I know you guys don't want to hear that. But there is some weakness here whether you like it or not. I feel guilty for letting these people down. So I will sit here and pretend that everything is okay. Because I lack the strength to drive my own ship. I lack the ability to take action. Is this is what's going on? Are you wasting time? Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. It's not shining, is it? That's what you want. With the Three of Cups, I can see that your eyes are outside of this situation. And this is what you're looking for. But you're procrastinating in finding it. Or going to get it. Oh, and this is one of the reasons why you're not making a move. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. You're not making a move because you think you can't. It's not stable and secure. If I go, I might not have enough money. I, I might not be able to afford it. I have to stay here because, you know, there's, a, there's, there's stability and security, even though I'm not happy. Oh, boy. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. What the hell are you waiting for? So I feel like many of you are going through a period of contemplation, trying to figure out what the next step is. And I think you've been trying to figure out what the next step is for a long time. Okay, you have. And for many of you, you lack the strength to move forward. We're just going to ignore that. And accept the truth, okay? Because this is truth. But your heart wants one thing. And the guilt and regrets hold you back. Oh, this one was a jumper. Ooh, gratitude. Life is one big, continuous circle of giving and receiving energy. Be thankful for who and what's in your life instead of complaining about what you don't have. If you focus on gratitude, you'll start to attract prosperity and abundance. Be grateful. This is what this says. Be grateful for the lessons that you've learned in this situation. Don't feel guilty for evolving. Many of you have evolved. And you're looking for a big change. But you lack the ability to move forward.
because you have this fear of the unknown. So I feel like this month, there is an opportunity, you're being offered an opportunity to find a new security and stability with that Ace of Pentacles. But you have to free yourself from a contract that is making you feel imprisoned. What's been going on here is you guys have been calling in your soulmate and your soulmate is waiting for you. To make a move. And you haven't. Talk to you later.